Hi guys, so this is a Panasonic Lumix FZ200. So this has been modified to full spectrum. So it allows it to see infrared light, uh, allowing it to take movies or still images in complete darkness. It's also equipped uh, with a handy infrared flash, which I'll demonstrate in a moment. So if I just remove the lens hood, uh, you'll see that it's got a, a Leica lens so the lens is a 24 times optical zoom. So that's equivalent to 25 to 600 millimeters in 35 millimeter format. So having uh, the fixed or the constant 2.8 lens means that it's uh, very good for low light work. So for nocturnal wildlife and uh, obviously ghost hunting. So it's got an electronic viewfinder, so you can view through, through the lens or on this uh, articulated uh, high definition LCD screen. So it's got a 12 megapixel resolution and it also takes 1080p movies. Being an advanced bridge camera, you get full control over your uh, settings. So you've got a program mode aperture priority shutter priority and also full manual mode so the full manual mode you can get an iso between 100 and 3200 as suggested the camera's got a fixed aperture of 2.8 throughout the zoom range and then it's got a shutter speed uh, from one two thousandths of a second through to 15 seconds on the top of the camera you'll also see a stereo mic it's also got a hot shoe uh, for this example, I'll use one of the, the illuminators off my website. So this is a cold shoe illuminator. It fits, fits in the hot shoe. And then uh, when I turn the light off, you'll see uh, that's uh, showing up on the screen. So it's a... Uh, Having the f2.8 is very, very bright. I'll show you uh, some of the zoom, zoom ranges shortly. So if I remove this illuminator, I'll just turn that off, take that off and put it to one side. I'm saying all this equipment's available on the website at www.infrareddy.co.uk. So you'll see uh, the link there. It'll also be in the description infrared flash so when shooting stills you can pop up a flash you'll see the flash has been modified so if i uh just put it in program mode i think the flash is on uh when it's up but we'll just give it a pop you'll see the lights there they're just off the the dot matrix is off the back of the depth camera on my uh iphone which i'm recording on so you'll see there the resulting image. So obviously you get the focus assist light, um, but it's more discreet when you fire the flash. You get a little bit of uh, a little bit of a flash downwards, but the main pulse, the flash, is is uh, infrared. So obviously my uh, iPhone doesn't see that, but when I take a picture with the camera you get a nice clear image. With the full time illuminator back in place, I'll just demonstrate another nice feature. So the camera's got a, a burst mode. You can see that it's uh, offering a maximum of 12 megapixel. I think it's 12 frames per second with the mechanical shutter. So if I select that, I turn out the light. And I'll try and get that so it's a better exposure. then the camera will process that. So it's captured uh, 12 images within a second there. So it's great for catching high definition, uh, of fast moving subjects in the dark. So it's a very capable camera. So you'll see the resulting images now. I can just toggle through those and it's basically freeze framed the fast movement of my hand quite nicely.
camera's also got high speed video. Uh, I think it's 120 frames per second HD or 240 frames per second VGA. And you can shoot up to 60p uh, in AVC HD or MP4 format in 1080p. So I'll just slide this illuminator off again. So the camera can be turned off and then the screen can be put in its stowed position. I suggested you can use the, uh, if you want to minimise battery use and be more discreet in the dark, you can use this uh, electronic viewfinder. So uh, so you get full control of the camera. You get the full menu system through there also it's also got full control over white balance so at the present if i turn the uh, light off you'll see it's got a purplish hue if i go into the white balance settings and then uh, i select one of the color temperatures you see you can get purple hues etc but when uh, using infrared i like to get a nice monochrome effect so if you go into one of the white balance settings you'll see it'll come up with the custom, if I press the middle menu button, you'll then see, uh, I say the images are far more balanced, so you get that nice monochrome look, rather than uh, the same, the, the purplish or bluish colours that you often see on full spectrum cameras. So with a 52 millimeter filter mount, means that you can use a variety of filters uh, so we can put this colour correction filter on. So if we put this on to a camera and then you take a white balance reading and it would basically mean that the camera can be used as a day-to-day -day camera. So if I turn the lights off now, you'll see that the screen is uh, actually blank because it's blocking the infrared. Just prove that if I turn this uh, infrared light on, if I actually remove that now, you'll see that the, that blocks that light out. So in, in the daytime, you can shoot normal coloured images. Uh, likewise, if you want to take uh, images, digital infrared images, you can fit like a 670 nanometer for faux infrared pictures or you can fit a, a 720 or above or an eight say 850 a, a 950 if you want to achieve some high contrast monochrome infrared images which look really nice so in the scene mode we've got uh, access to a lot of different scenes so we've got uh, on this one here we've got hdr so that's a three shot hdr feature to give you an extended dynamic range so if you listen to it when i press the shutter you'll hear three shots fire and then they're combined and processed by the camera into one single image i think i've filled the memory up there just uh, i think you can clear the memory by pressing the little bin at the bottom sorry play first then the bin and then I can delete all and clear the memory out. So the memory is now just clearing out. I'll briefly show you one last uh, feature in the scene mode. So if you press the center button again, you see this one here, it's called 3D mode. So this allows you to uh, shoot the camera and pan it to one side. And what it will do is it will then create a stereo power, stereo image. So with the other lenticular glasses or a, well, a lenticular screen or like a 3D parallax lens, then you'll be able to see uh, that image in 3D. So it'll have depth to it. So that's quite ingenious. So I've got full control over focus. You can have auto focus, macro focus, uh, and then you've got your manual focus. The telephoto lens can also be adjusted from the side. Battery in the bottom, SD card slot. The battery's good for about 450 shots. Okay, thanks for watching, and I'd appreciate if you could subscribe to my channel uh, and show your support. Thanks, bye.